Recently, we have been giving Lenovo a lot of attention, and it's totally deserved. The company makes good devices at all price points and while there have been some stumbles, looking at UIdeaPad Gaming 3i, most of their offerings have been great. Today we have the ThinkPad L14 Gen 3, a mid-range office device that excels at its job. Once again, ThinkPads offer multiple configurations for the build, with either aluminum or plastic for the lid and plastic or carbon fiber for the bottom portion. In terms of design, the laptop is alright, looking like every other ThinkPad under the sun, while the durability with the plastic base and aluminum lid is good. In terms of weight, the laptop measures 1.39 kilograms and has a profile of 19.8 millimeters. There is a keyboard, a touchpad, and a track point, which are executed with varying levels of success. The board has long key travel, clicky feedback, a backlight, and spill resistance, making it ready for everything. The pad is smooth and accurate. The device is an input-output champ, offering two USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1, a Thunderbolt 4 port, and a USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 1 port. There's also a LAN port, HDMI 2.1 with 8K 60Hz output, audio jack, micro SD card reader, smart card reader, and a SIM card slot. The display isn't suitable for professional work with colors but it is great for office work. The FHD IPS panel has excellent viewing angles, peaks at 262 nits in terms of brightness, and has a very high 1470 to 1 contrast ratio. With 53% sRGB coverage and a Delta E value of 3.6 with our profile applied, it's nowhere near creator ready. Thankfully, there's no PWM usage, which is pleasant to see. There's both a 42 watt hours and a 57 watt hours battery pack, with us choosing the larger option. It lasts for 11 hours and 15 minutes of web browsing, or 10 hours and 18 minutes of video playback when paired with the Core i5-1235U. Compared to other laptops with the Core i5-1235U, the ThinkPad delivers significantly less performance. The Dell Latitude 5430 and the MSI Modern 14 come with better performing hardware, both in terms of the CPU and the GPU, as the integrated graphics also score a lot higher in benchmarks. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The cooling is very simple, with two heat pipes, one fan, and a heat sink. The stress test shows that the CPU maintains high clock speeds for a short while, dropping to below 2 GHz at the 15 minute mark. As for comfort, with only one fan, the laptop works quietly, while the base won't burn your fingertips. Lenovo managed to bring great upgradability to a very portable laptop, with two SODIMM slots that can house up to 64GB of DDR4 memory. For storage, there's a single M.2 slot that supports Generation 4 drives. To learn how to access them, you can watch our teardown video, which shows a step-by-step -step process. While the laptop gets outperformed when put against its competitors, it gets so much other stuff right, like the rich input-output, plenty of upgradability, and long battery life. Business devices have been made with security and stability in mind, so even if there is a performance deficit, we're sure that many people will be able to overlook it, in order to access the rest of the pleasantries that come with a ThinkPad. Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.